Hey ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this Pop Shop Talk episode, I just wanted to say that this Pop Shop Talk episode is not edited. <laughs> this is, um, it has a lot of mistakes in it, and it's just way too funny to not release. So, um, I need to get better at looking at the webcam instead of the screen here. So yeah, this is probably the funniest Pop Shop Talk you in Pop Shop Talk history that you guys will see so far completely unedited that's why it's a little long but trust me it's worth it right off the bat it's just it gets funny so here we go the funniest pop shop talk ever <laughs> Joey's Joe from here. Welcome to another Pop Shop Talk. And on today's episode, we have Ski, a naturally flavored citrus soda. Here we go. Special effect. Ski. Man, I can't even see that. Let's see. Ski, ski, ski. Ski. Wee hee. Woo hoo. We're skiing. I. I think you would drink this if you were skiing. You know? I would drink it while I was skiing. It'd as, just be like... As depicted on the bottle, they have a lovely young lady there. With a nice pair of skis. Mm-hmm. All right. I like my skis. All right. Goes downhill from here, baby. Start anyway. Ski. The uh, information on this is it's <laughs> made from pure cane sugar. Yes. It's bottled under what? It is bottled under Double Cola, Cola Company. Company. Yes. And Excel Bottling Company. Yes. They also have a website, too. And what's their website? <laughs> I don't have the information. MySkiSoda.com. <laughs> All right. MySkiSoda.com. That is the website. Yes. I'm, I'm just reiterating. Awesome. All That's right. my job. Sweet. And nope. right here. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Make had too much sugar. I've had too much sugar. Should we yeah. try this again? Okay. Okay. We're playing with some skis. She's got lovely skis. They're nice and big. <laughs> this soda has pure cane sugar. It is bottled under Double Cola Company or. Excel Bottling <laughs> in Breeze, Illinois. Thank you for the cue. And what was the website? <laughs> Skisoda.com. No, it's MySkisoda.com. Oh, it's MySkisoda.com. <clears throat> they need knuckleheads. <laughs> thanks, I'll, I'll thanks for the cue. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Drank so much sugar How already. About? Okay, guys, give us a break. We're high oh. on life. Oh, I oh, can't open it. Oh, muscle man can't do it. He needs a he needs a lever. Looks like we need the pop top of terror. He's a trip. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that is gonna be impressive. Here we go. Are you guys ready for another one? Oh, oh my god! It's like, it's like champagne. <laughs> That's what it sounded like when they sh they lifted her off the floor after doing the splits. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> it was like the Fourth of July in here with that. Holy yeah. smokes! I don't even know where the oh, it's over there. You All shot right. it over there. Well, this guy does the pour. I will show uh, you the the pour logo. Homemade. It's a white logo. That says ski on it, and the lettering for ski is red, and it has the ingredients on the um, actual cap itself, so that's pretty sweet, I think, that they actually include it on the cap instead of worried about that would be. That big mug is really hard to um, justify the pour. I, I, I can't measure on that. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a red wine, I mean, or a... Uh... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess my. This is a red wine. <laughs> this is a red oh, drink. Let, let me smell the bouquet. 
Well, no, it's oh. like a wine where you don't need to fill it all the way to the top. You know, you got to have some room for the bouquet. What, what's the sense in drinking wine if you can't fill it oh all the way to the top? You're pouring like a three-year-old boy. I hope you didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it looks like Mountain Dew or Gamer Fuel. Yeah, it Mellow does. yellow. Mellow mm -hmm. yellow. It's got a really nice... <laughs> Great. <laughs> so we already know your rating. I give up. <laughs> oh. Okay. We know it's what's got, gonna happen next. It's, it's got a great look to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Let's just keep going. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's got some great fizz. We all yep. like fizz. Fizz is awesome. Alright. It's got a smell smell to it, but I'm not sure what the smell is. Tammy drank her, so she's disqualified from the smelling part of the show. Thank you. I always go first. I can't wait. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're ready for the drink then? Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay, yeah, it was bon, great. See you later. Bon appetite. Red wine, baby. Mmm. <laughs> oh. What's going on with you two? That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Smoking something before? Hmm. Whew. That's really good. It's um, actually quite refreshing. It is. It's a very refreshing drink. Kind of has a grape lemon taste to it. Huh. What's with the grape thing? You it's keep a, talking grape. I never understand. With well, with uh, Mountain Dew and stuff, it's all that's green grapes, and I, I think oh, is it? Uh, yeah, Mountain Dew is the same, or uh, Mellow Yellow is the same, but to me, this tastes lemony. I had no idea. Like a lemon I would soda. Say lemon, yeah. It's a lemon soda. So, so I would have assumed grape, but then I read the bottle and said citrus. So, what's that like? First, when you drink it, it, you get like that bite or whatever. Yeah, that's lemony. Can you taste that? It's called tooth decay. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I get the lemon more oh. towards the back, I would say. Yeah, I, I called it lemon lime. It is lemon lime. Mm. I missed that part of the program. That's what happens when I tune in late. Yeah. That's a nice soda. That's got a clean finish to it. Mm hmm. What do you think, Taya? It smells like burning leaves. Burning leaves? On a night burning leaves on a nice autumn night. Kind of. I think that's what this should be drank at, is it on an autumn night? When you're skiing. Charcoal y or something. Yeah, while you're skiing mm -hmm. and raking leaves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, sure. It's a good visual. Hold a rake and I mean, this chick is skiing. <laughs> she, is she indeed skiing. she is. <laughs> She's skiing. And the name is Ski. Ski. It's just not Rake. <laughs> because Rake is not nearly as fun as Ski is. Yes. Let's just draw a little bird. That'd be here. a great name for a soda. Rake. Needs, <laughs> needs more mother Dig. Bob Ross and birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, pull <poor> weeds. <laughs> That's the kind of soda we need to make. Something it's named called after bowling weeds. Something named after hard labor. That would be really fun. Yeah, I figured I'm doing Yeah. Rock crushing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wood splitting. Hard time. Hard times. Hard times. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, that's good. Start getting in on that Excel Beverage Company. Raking leaves. <laughs> Raking leaves. Burning grass. I would say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Anyway. Bullying leaves. <laughs> okay, so. Focus. Yeah. 
are you okay there? <laughs> I would say the aroma is a little weird, but I like yeah. the flavor of it. I, you know, it is it is a little weird. I, it's hard to describe the flavor and the aroma. Yeah, but it is artificially flavored, if you noticed. So, Audio, yeah. so that might be that might be the huge problem. If it was naturally <laughs> flavored, we might get somewhere here. No. <laughs> I read this wrong. We really, we we really do our due diligence here. We usually have a big team of researchers who who do a lot of advanced oh. preparation for us. Oh, kind of like trauma <laughs> alert. What well, well, were you saying that? Oh, okay. Would you like to describe this, Tammy? Describe yeah. what? Describe the soda. The uh, aroma the and aroma? the soda. All over again. <laughs> Jeez. It's naturally flavored, not artificial. Okay. I, I boo-booed. We have a big okay. team of uh, researchers <laughs> that make sure that our show goes properly. All right. Well, I would say the aroma is, you know, it's weird. It is weird. It's weird. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. I mean, it's got some, you know, it's artificial flavors, right? No. <laughs> No? no? Oh, sorry. No, it's That's not. why we're doing it's this again. Not. I thought it was the other way. It's not. Oh, I but have... it's got yeah, it's got yellow. It's got. <laughs> They're gonna notice how to drink this. Keep getting smaller. <laughs> yellow oh, okay. number five in it. <laughs> that's not a flavoring though. Uh, that's coloring. Okay, so I see that's why I made you redo it because I'm the one who said right. there was no. All right. It's what not... do you think of the aroma? I think the aroma is weird. Yes, I it's, agree with that. I mean, the burning leaves might seem a little extreme. Pulling weeds. But it has a strange... It does have a strange smell. Hard to define smell. <laughs> and, and kind of taste, because it seems like the um, the flavor changes, almost. Like, at first it's like, all in your face, and it just gets smoother. Like that Willy Wonka candy that changes as you... That yeah. gum? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, but that was blueberries. Hmm. I think we're thinking of different parts right. of the movie. Probably. Close to grapes. You know, I... <clears throat> yeah, it's really hard to describe what it is. It could be just a mixture of citrus products. They don't really pinpoint whether it's lemon, lime, or whatever, grapefruit. Yeah. It's yellow number five. It's yellow number five for the coloring. But no, as as the not course, artificially flavored. Not artificially flavored. But colored. Which is cool. Artificially or colored, colored yeah. or whatever yellow number five, whether that's, you mm -hmm. know, ground up bees or whatever it is. Because, you know, a lot of times they grind up bugs for coloring. But no, I, to be honest with you, I really like it. So. Yeah, the flavor's good. The flavor's good. It's, it's complex. Just, yep. But it's a flavor that's undistingu indistinguishable. It's a flavor you can't forget. So. And yet you can't define it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. The smell and the yeah flavor. So, so on your rating scale, or Christopher, one being hell. not for me, <laughs> Christopher from hell, one being not for me, two being tried, three being a pleasant sort of experience, and four being a major belch rating. What would you give it? Oh, I'm oh me, I'm gonna give it a four. Ooh. I think it's good. I think it deserves um, yeah. It's it's a very tasty beverage. I, I like it overall. Good, good carbonation to, from the start, which was awesome. Unique flavor, which is great. Yeah, that's what you want in a soda. And then yeah, finishes off well. So. So you don't think it tastes too much like a Mellow Yellow or a Mountain Dew? No, nah, it doesn't taste like either one of them. Okay. Yep. Which is good. Which is good. You want something indistinguishable, I think, to kind of separate yourself. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I like it. Cool. I would give it a four. Also, it's definitely it's it's great. It's got great flavor. Amazing yes, it does. flavor. Cool. I'll give it. I am a little turned off. Really. By the aroma. By the aroma. Over. So, but I do think the flavor is good. So I will give it a three, okay. which is still a pretty positive thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. It's kind of like a lemon smell to it. Yeah, it's. I think it's more lemon than grapes. Yeah, overall. Anyway, it's very Gremmen. Good. It's Gremmen. What's a little bit of red wine? There you go. Mmm. Mm. The ladies are going to like that. Get them drunk. 
Absolutely. Anything else you want to say before? No, I think um, I think I stand by my word. Yeah. That's good. All right. This will change your life. Yes, it will. Alrighty, guys. My name is Jar from Hell. Um, clueless and nameless, of course. Hazel. I love you, Jarvis, to death. And if, if you're, you're gonna, gonna be a jerk, be a soda jerk. jerk.